Hi, welcome to Storytime with Gigi. Today we're reading Disney's The Emperor's New Groove, another story from the Disney's wonderful world of reading. Oh, someone put their stickers inside. That's cute. This book was copyrighted in 2000. This is from, I guess, Grolier Books. Hmm. Let's begin our story. Deep in the jungle, surrounded by mountains and rivers, stood the palace of young Emperor Cusco. He was very rich and always got what he wanted. <clears throat> Cusco was the all-powerful ruler of everything and everyone. But in his perfect world, nothing was ever good enough for him. One day, several beautiful maidens were presented to him as possible brides. The emperor looked at the maidens and rudely insulted each one. The only time Cusco seemed satisfied was when he had dozens of servants waiting on him and giving him compliments. When Emperor Cusco wasn't sitting on his throne shouting orders, his advisor, Isma, was there instead. She wanted to take over the royal power. As always, Isma's handsome assistant, Kronk, was right by her side. One day, Cusco became annoyed when he caught Isma on his throne, so he fired her. You're being let go, he told her casually. Isma was shocked and furious. On the same day, a peasant named Pacha arrived in, at the palace. Cusco had ordered Pacha to come from his distant home to answer just one question. Showing the peasant a model of his hilltop village, Cusco asked Pacha where the sun shone best. After Pacha answered politely, the emperor smiled. I just needed an insider's opinion before I okayed the spot for my pool. Then he slammed a model of his new summer home on top of the village. Pacha was shocked. Cusco was going to destroy his village. But where will we live, he protested. Unfortunately, Cusco didn't care. Meanwhile, hidden away in her laboratory beneath the palace, Isma was plotting to get rid of Cusco. She and Kronk found a vial containing a deadly poison. Isma invited Cusco to dinner that evening. Once Cusco arrived, Kronk served him a drink containing the poison. But the bumbling Kronk had put the wrong potion into the emperor's drink. It wasn't a poison at all, but it did turn Cusco into a long-eared llama. Isma stared at the llama in shock. Hit him on the head, she whispered to Kronk. Then she told Kronk to stuff the llama in a sack and get rid of him. Kronk lugged the sack to the large waterfall and threw it in. Suddenly, he felt guilty. Quickly grabbing the sack out of the water, he ran through town wondering what to do. He raced down some stairs, tripped over a cat, and dropped the sack. The sack with Cusco inside landed on the back of Pacha's cart. Before Kronk could stop him, Pacha had left. When Pacha arrived home, he was surprised to discover the unconscious llama in his cart. Where did you come from, little guy, he asked, stroking Cusco's mane. Cusco woke up and spoke. No touchy, he yelled. Ah, demon llama, Pacha cried, staring at Cusco. Where? Cusco shrieked. Then he saw his reflection in some water and realized he was the llama.
Okay, Demon Llama, take it easy. I mean you no harm, Pacha said gently. What are you talking about, Cusco snapped. Oh, wait, I know you. You're that whiny peasant. Emperor Cusco? Pacha gasped, surprised. But Cusco thought Pacha was trying to trick him. I remember telling you that I was building my pool where your house was, and then you got mad at me. Oh, and then you turned me into a llama, and then you kidnapped me, Cusco cried. No, I did not, Pacha replied angrily. Cusco wanted to return to his palace. He thought Isma could change him back into a human. He didn't suspect Isma was trying to kill him in the first place. Cusco demanded that Pacha take him home. Only if you build your summer house somewhere else, Pacha replied. Cusco refused, and he trotted off, alone, towards the palace, despite Pacha's warning about the dangers of the jungle. It wasn't long before Cusco realized the jungle was scarier than he had thought. Ah! he shrieked as a little squirrel appeared from the bushes, surprising him. The squirrel offered Cusco an acorn. Get lost, Bucky, the emperor rudely replied. At that moment, Cusco fell down a hill and landed in the middle of a pack of angry jaguars. Cusco ran, but he ended up trapped at the edge of a steep cliff. Luckily, Pacha had been worried about Cusco, so he had secretly followed him. With an ah, Pacha swung down on a vine and snatched Cusco from the jaguars. But the rescue didn't go quite as planned. The pair ended up lashed to a branch, and it was about to break. With a scream, they dropped into the river far below. Cusco was not pleased. They were carried, swirling and dipping through the water until Pacha finally managed to drag Cusco out. And when Cusco didn't wake up, Pacha almost had to revive him with the kiss of life. Yuck! Luckily, Cusco woke up just in time and no kiss was needed. <laughs> Back at the palace, Isma was furious. Kronk had just told her that Cusco wasn't really dead. You and I are going to find him at to going out to find him, she shouted. If he talks, we're through. Out in the jungle, Cusco and Pacha were shivering by a small fire. When Pacha gave the freezing llama his poncho to keep warm, Cusco was surprised. He wondered about Pacha's kindness, but that didn't stop him from lying to the peasant. Cusco told Pacha that he decided not to destroy Pacha's village. The two shook hands on it, believing Cusco, Pacha agreed to take him to the palace. The next day, as they were in sight of the palace, Pacha fell through a hole in the bridge. Dang dangling above a river, he shouted to Cusco, Quick, help me up! No, Cusco replied, I don't think I will. Cusco didn't care about Pacha. He had never intended to keep his promise to spare Pacha's village. So it was all a lie, Pacha asked. Well, yeah, Cusco replied. I'd be mad too. Suddenly the bridge gave way beneath Cusco. Ah, he yelled as he dangled over the river with Pacha. The pair had to work together to save their lives. But when they reached the top edge of the top edge of the cliff gave way. When they reached the top, the edge of the cliff gave way. Pacha started to fall, but Cusco pulled him to safety. You just saved my life, Pacha told Cusco. There is some good in you after all. After their adventures, Pacha and Cusco were starving. They went to a jungle restaurant, but llamas weren't allowed inside. So Pacha disguised Cusco as his bride. Cusco decided the food wasn't up to his standards. He went to scold the cook in the kitchen. Just then, Isma and Kronk came into the restaurant. Pacha overheard them plotting to kill the emperor.
Thinking quickly, Pacha told the waitress that it was Isma's birthday. As the waiter and waitress sang and congratulated Isma, Pacha sneaked the unsuspecting Cusco outside. Then Pacha described the strange couple in the restaurant to the emperor. That's Isma and Croc, Cusco exclaimed. I'm saved. They're trying to kill you, Pacha argued. But Cusco didn't believe him and hurried back to find Isma. When he overheard Isma and Croc talking, he realized that the peasant was right. But by then, Pacha was gone. Unfortunately, Kronk had seen Pacha in the restaurant and finally remembered him. Pacha was the peasant who had driven away with the llama in his cart. If we find his village, Kronk thought out loud, we find him, and if we find him, we find Cusco. Soon they were in Pacha's village, sitting in his house and pretending to be relatives. Why, I'm his third cousin's brother's wife's step-niece's great-aunt, twice removed, Isma lied to Pacha's wife, Chica. Meanwhile, Pacha and Cusco had found each other and made up. As they returned to Pacha's house for supplies, they saw Kronk and Isma. Pacha signaled to his wife to meet him alone. Then Pacha secretly asked Chicha to distract Isma and Kronk. That way, he and Cusco could get a head back to get could get a head start back to the palace. Sorry about that. So Pacha's clever wife and kids locked Isma in a room, and when Isma managed to break out, they had a surprise of honey and feathers waiting for her. <laughs> but Isma wasn't about to give up. Soon she and Kronk were chasing Pacha and Cusco through the jungle. It seemed nothing could stop her, but happily for Pacha and Cusco, a bolt of lightning did. Arriving at the palace at last, Pacha and Cusco hurried to Isma's laboratory. They began looking for a potion that would change the emperor back into a human, but the laboratory was full of potions. As the pair searched, Isma and Kronk turned up. Finish them off, Isma ordered her assistant. Kronk, however, was having second thoughts. Isma finally lost patience and pulled a lever. I should have seen that coming, Kronk said as he fell down a deep shaft. Then Isma called in her guards to get rid of Pacha and Cusco. The pair was in, a, was in real trouble now. They began tossing vials of potions at the guards. Poof, 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 poof. The guards changed into a warthog, a lizard, a cow, an ostrich, and an octopus. But Cusco and Pacha still weren't safe. Get them, Isma yelled at the animal guards. The guards chased the pair outside to the front of the palace. Pacha and Cusco managed to climb onto a ledge thousands of feet above the ground. They had two vials left, but Isma knocked the vials away. As she and Cusco sprang for them, they butted heads. Isma fell on top of one of the vials. Poof! She was changed into a hissing, spitting kitten. I'll take that, Cusco said, reaching for the last vial. Just then, Isma the cat jumped onto his head. When Pacha tried to pull her off the llama, the peasant stumbled and fell off the ledge. Pacha dangled far above the ground, barely hanging on. Drink the potion, he yelled to Cusco. After a struggle with Isma, the last vial was within Cusco's reach, but Pacha needed his help. Instead of grabbing the potion... Cusco grabbed his friend. There's the potion.
Pacha couldn't believe it. The emperor had saved him instead of drinking the potion. Cusco had actually done his second unselfish act and all for his friend Pacha. But now Isma the cat had the potion. I win, she shouted. It seemed all hope of getting the potion was gone. But then Kronk opened a door, flattening Isma behind it. She dropped the vial which Pacha caught and handed it to Cusco. He drank it. And the llama turned back into the young emperor. Soon Cusco was looking at the model of his summer home again. Only this time. The emperor was grateful to Pacha. The peasant had not only helped him regain his human form, but he had also taught him that kindness and friendship are the most valuable things in the world. So when Cusco built his new summer home, it was a modest hut on the hill next to Pacha's village. Pacha and his family and friends were happy to celebrate his newfound happiness with Cusco. Kronk was happy too. He became a scout leader to all the kids in Pacha's village. Isma the cat stayed at the village too. She even attended Kronk's scout meetings once in a while. And that's our story. I hope you liked it. Make sure that you like and subscribe and share with your friends. Bye until next time.